We've had a slight change in our program this morning. And uh, we're privileged to be able to have our Youth Rush group here. Uh, we want to visit with them now about the work they've been doing in our area. And then they are going to be bringing us uh, the special musical number today. So I'd like to invite uh, the Youth Rush team up. And uh, we're going to visit with them for a little bit. So um, all of you who are involved in Youth Rush, would you please stand up? Great. Praise the Lord. Let me get another microphone here. Ashley, you're their, you're their leader here, is that correct? Yes. So tell me a little bit about Youth Rush. I know we've had uh, the Youth Rush group for, you know, I've been here four years and they've been here every year, every summer, mm -hmm. um, hanging out at our school, a place to stay, our, our church here. And, but what are you guys doing? Good question. Um, Youth Rush is a 10-week summer program. We spend five weeks of that here in the Simi Valley Church and School, and we go door-to-door -door in the community. We carry literature, um, like health books. We have um, devotional books for the adults and books for children as well. Okay, so you're knocking on doors, mm -hmm. and you're trying to get people to buy these books. Yes, we are knocking on doors um, for about eight hours, a Sunday through Thursday, and we leave the books on a donation basis, and it helps the students go through our Adventist schooling. Wow, wonderful. Mm -hmm. But now, I I'm going to guess you're doing more than just trying to sell books. I mean, it seems to me that there's a bigger purpose in this. Yes, okay. um, the bigger purpose that we're out here for, um, the, the books we carry are, are seeds that we plant inside each and every home. And, and when people do receive the books or when we find somebody who's spiritually interested, we offer them Bible studies as well. Um, and we invite them to cooking classes. And we know that your church is very active with that department as well. Great. So now you have some of your uh, group up here. And we're going to spend a little bit of time talking with them about um, what you're doing. So we'll let you go first and tell us your name. My name's Kayla Menjavar. Um, I go to PUC, Pacific Union College up in the Napa Valley area. Okay. Now, is this your first time with Youth Rush? This is my third time, actually. Third time. Wow, third you time. keep coming yeah. back. <laughs> yeah. Wow. This is my third time here in this church, so it's really, I'm really happy to be able to Great. see you guys again. Too. Great. Now tell me, you're, you're going out, um, you know, Monday through, or Sunday through Thursday, you're knocking on doors. That can be kind of an intimidating, scary thing. I mean, there's a lot of people today that don't like people bugging them. They don't like people knocking on their door. I see some nodding heads. Uh, I, I'm sure you probably get some slam doors. I'm sure you probably have some people swearing at you, telling you to get out and stuff like that. Probably happens. But let's talk about some good stuff. Um, what's happening, Kayla? What, what, tell me about um, what this experience. Obviously, it means enough to you that you've done it three years in a row. <laughs> So, so tell me about it. I'm sure it's more than just getting some money to help pay your tuition yeah. at, at an Adventist college. So talk about it. I actually had an experience I wanted to share with you guys this morning. Um, it actually happened a couple blocks away here in the Simi Valley area. And I was talking to this man. Um, he had actually gotten a DVD from us last year. Um, he, but he had gotten it more to donate, not necessarily because he was spiritually interested. Um, but as he, I guess, during the, the course of this year that we weren't uh, knocking on doors, he actually ended up watching this DVD, um, and it really awoke his spiritual curiosity. It talks about um, uh, if, if God is good, why is there so much pain and suffering? And so this year, um, when I knocked on his door, he was like, it's you guys, and he was super excited. Um, he began to share with me things that have been going on in his life. Um, and one of those things is um, he has a brother who he's really, really close to, and he's actually in jail right now um, because he murdered his whole family. Oh um, he caught his wife cheating, and he was drunk, and so it was, he, I guess, you know, he was drunk. <laughs> and so um, he, he, he's in jail right now, so he doesn't know how to cope with that. Um, so as he was telling me this, the first book that, that came into my mind was um, Steps to Christ, and we carry it under the title Peace Above the Storm. So when I shared it with him, he's like, this is, I need this, I, I, I need this. Um, and he was super enthusiastic to read it, um, as well as because of the CBD, it actually, uh, the first one that he got talks about prophecy as well. So he ended up getting The Great Controversy and Daniel Chronicles, uh, which is a DVD that talks about the prophecies in Daniel. Um, so he's not just willing to, um, I guess, like take steps towards Christ, but he's also willing to learn more about the Bible itself. Um, and the, 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 the top this all the story off, um, when he watched this DVD, it, it, it woke his, his spiritual curiosity. He began to um, look more into the Bible, and he actually was able to share this with his brother who's in jail. And now his brother in jail is, um, is studying the Bible. Um, 
So I, as I was, I know, as I was talking to one of my leaders about this, and we thought about Ecclesiastes 11.6, that says, In the morning sow thy seed, and in the evening withhold not thine hand. For thou knowest not whether it, sh whether it shall prosper either this or that, or whether they both shall be alike good. And it's really easy, as you were saying, it's really easy to become discouraged and sometimes, quote unquote, like withhold our hand from the blessings that, you know, um, I guess we have received, and like you said, is why I come back every year. Um, but it's in what I guess the, um, what I want to share with you guys and what I want to challenge um, my brothers and sisters to do, um, you know, as, as we continue our spiritual walk, is to not withhold our hand from the blessings that. God has given to us in our life to really just be bold and be able to share this with others. As well. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Kayla. God, God bless you for what you've done. And what's your name, honey? My name's Taylor Legan. Taylor, uh, okay. I, go, I went to Weimar Academy in college, and now I'm going to Souls West in Prescott, Arizona. Okay. And uh, my testimony actually did not take place here in Simi Valley, but I wanted to share it because um, it was really encouraging. Uh, I met this lady who wasn't very interested in books, but I offered if I can pray for her. And I guess when she found out that I was spiritually interested in her, she started to open up to me and she was saying that she was having, um, she thinks she was having demon experiences in her home. She thinks that there's like witchcraft and all these evil spirits in her home. And so I, I just prayed with her and I gave her a little piece of glow and it was the glow was entitled The Promise of Peace. And honestly, uh, to be quite honest, like when we have, when we give books out, we get really excited, you know? But with glow, it's just like, eh, here you go, you know? I, I didn't really think much about it, to be quite honest. Uh, but then a couple weeks later, she ended up calling the Southern California Conference on because the, um, their number's on the back of the glow. And she was saying how she enjoyed the glow so much. She read it several, several times. And it was just encouraging to me that everything that we leave, it's a little seed. So even uh, you guys as a church congregation, you know, you may not be out there knocking door to door like us, but you can be handing out little pieces of literature, and it's really making a difference in people's lives. Amen. Amen. Thanks so much. And you, your name is? My name is Rich Garcia. Okay, Rich. And I am a, a recent alumni of San Fernando Valley Academy. And I'm going to go to Southern Adventist University this month, actually. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this is your first experience with, uh, with Youth Rush. This is my second year. Second mm -hmm. year. Okay, this great. Is my second year. Tell us about what, uh, what has been happening exciting for you this summer. Um, the experience that I had actually happened here in Simi Valley. Um, I was doing businesses on Los Angeles, and the businesses were between Erringer and Galt. G-A-L-T. And um, I, was, I was doing suites. And in the suites, it, I was in a hallway. I was knocking on these suites. And um, on the corner of my eye, I had seen a man just sitting down in a corner, like just crisscross applesauce. And this was a guy. I, I looked at him, and I heard him sniffling. And, and you could tell that this guy was broken. He was crying. And he was in front of his laptop, and he had like five or six bottles of like five-hour energy drinks. And I was like, oh, my gosh. This guy, my heart just dropped. So I approached him and I said, sir, are, are you okay? And he said, no, like, I'm, I'm okay, just, just, just leave. And in, I, in my heart, I was like, man, Lord, I really want to help this person, but God, help me to be bold for you. So I put my books in my hand down, I put my bag down, and I just sat down next to him and I said, sir, I'm here to listen to you. And he, and he was like, oh, fine. So he showed me what he was writing on his laptop. And in his laptop was an email that he's writing to his boss asking for a loan for his mother's house. Because that, that was his job, asking for people's loans for his house. And in this email, he was basically explaining, like, in order to get this loan, it was taking out of him so much spiritually, emotionally, physically. He was risking his job. He was risking his livelihood. And he was just pouring his heart out in this email. And I looked at him, and you could really see everything that this task was taking out of him. And he was broken, and, and I was real to him, and I said, Sir, in times like these, I believe that prayer is the answer. And he was like, Man, Ridge, I've been praying so much. I'm actually Jewish. And I said, Sir, can we pray right now? And he was like, Yes, please. So we prayed, and in this prayer, I was pleading with God. I was like, Lord, please help this man to receive this loan, because you see how much, out of, you see how much it's taking out of him. And after we said amen, no joke, church, two to three minutes later, we were still talking, and I don't know where we had a bring on his laptop, and he read, my loan was approved. My loan, it's, it's approved. I, I have so many chills right now, and we were just like, what? No way. And, and he, he was like, Rich, I'm, ha I'm having so many chills right now. And he said, it's a miracle that I'm out here right now, because I usually work from home. And the reason why I'm here is because when I was at home, I was working. He has a roommate, and his roommate has a son, and his son was just like, Bleh! 
And he's like, oh, I can't work under these conditions. So he went to his office, and there was someone inside of his office, and he was like, oh, I can't have these people seeing me like this. So he went out into the hallway, and just so, when he, just so when he happened to be in his hallway, that's when I come up to pray with him. And he was like, Ridge, I have to, I have to help you out. I, I, let me give you some money. And I didn't even canvas him yet, so he just gave me 20 bucks. And he started to share with me some experiences that he had with demons. And he was like, Ridge, in my house, there's been pieces of furniture just, whoosh, just shaking. And there's been footprints of like, of animal hooves on my carpet. And I was like, sir, let me show you this book. So I shared with him the great controversy. And I turned with him to the chapter, the, the evil spirits. And I said, sir, this book will lay out the plan of Satan for you right here. And it will let you know how you will survive throughout these end times. And I was like, oh, praise God. And he had mentioned to me that his roommate was a Christian. So I shared with him a desire of ages as well. And I was like, sir, I could give you these two books. And he was like, you know what? Despite that I'm Jewish, I'll read these books too, because I need peace in my life. And and it reminded me of a quote in Ministry of Healing where it says, Christ's method alone will give true success in reaching the people. The Savior mingled with men as one who desired their good. He showed his sympathy for them, ministered to their needs, and won their confidence. Then he bade them to follow him. As Praise Christians, God. it is practical Christianity for us not only to share the word of God with them, but to show that we truly care for these people. So as we go out as Christians into the world, into this world full of darkness, let us be the light into the world to show sympathy and to, to show the love of Christ with them. Amen. Thank you so much, Rich. Isn't that awesome to see the enthusiasm these young people have? Now, I want to tell you, these kids could be doing all kinds of other things to raise money for their, for their education. They could be flipping burgers at McDonald's or rolling burritos at Taco Bell or Del Taco or whatever it is. But they're out knocking on doors. And you know what? That's kind of scary stuff. It's scary stuff. But look at what God has done. I'm sure that they've had many um, discouraging moments in their process. But praise God, nothing can be more exciting than what these young people have shared in their encounter with Jesus. May what they have done be a testimony and an encouragement to us to be actively sharing the good news about a soon coming Jesus with a community that so desperately needs to hear it. I mean, folks, you heard him say, listen, there are demonic forces. The forces of evil are at work in our community, in our world. Let us be diligent in sharing Jesus with people who so desperately need it. Amen? Amen. Wow, praise God. Well, Ashley, thank you so much. You're wrapping your work up, I think, this coming week. Is that right? Yes, we only have four more days to knock on doors in this community. Wow, so. well, we will, be, we will be praying that God will, will richly reward you. Now, I'm going to share something exciting with you folks. Um, when they are done, they are going to have some interests. They're going to have some people who have filled out cards that have said, hey, I'm interested in Bible studies. I'm interested in a healthy living cooking class. I'm interested in whatever else. And um, uh, we've already uh, put together a means of follow-up to that. Um, uh, Simone Butler and Anya Gavello will start following these uh, leads up and hopefully getting some people to come to um, our cooking schools that are going on, maybe initiating some Bible studies. Um, be prepared to work, church. Uh, there are people out there who need to hear Jesus. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you as well, church family, for letting us stay here year after year. We really appreciate Amen. it. Amen. You are always, always welcome. Amen? Amen. Amen. And now uh, the uh, Youth Rush uh, group is going to share with us a special musical number. <laughs> 